Semi-final Saturday of G1 Climax 33. Chris, Kevin here with you. We'll be ringside just a little while. There's few atmospheres that are like Ryogoku Sumo Hall when it's money time in the G1 Climax tournament. It's historic, it's iconic, it's the visual that I always put with this building and no better place to be. Yeah, sure, I felt that walking in here. Thank you! I'm all good. Are you okay, are you okay? Yeah, I, I felt walking in, you know, that this was, you know, this, this just felt right. But it's mm -hmm. the first time that I've done a Midsummer G1 final here in Ryogoku. Wow. With you. You know, I've been out in the seats a whole bunch of times. I was here last time when Naito won in 2017. But this will be the first time we're, we're, right, we're right at ringside. It feels right. Chris has a cold, but it's not COVID. Yeah, I just made you sneeze. No, I sneezed, but it has nothing to do with Chris having a cold and not COVID. But what we do have is a whole card of action that was released, what, earlier? Yesterday? Yesterday. Uh, on Friday. And that's all the undercard for everything, and that's at NJPW1972.com. Um, our real focus tonight, of course, is in the two main matches, which are the semi-final round of the G1 Climax 33. Now, what we will learn tonight are the two men that will face off in Sunday's final. Both matches today are one fall, no time limit, must be a winner, same with tomorrow with the finale. And again, a whole undercard of action will be released tomorrow as soon as the uh, semifinals will determine who advances the finals and then early tomorrow morning they'll put up the card. Okay, semifinal number one, Kazuchiko Okada versus Evil. I hate this matchup, I love this matchup. Um, because again, for Evil to beat Okada, if it's Evil beating Okada, then hey cool, he's done it. If Evil beats Okada by nefarious means to advance the final, I think it just dampers everything. Well, this is the G1 Climax, right? This yeah. is, the, you know, I mean, evil has no place in a G1 Climax. Mr. Right? G1, how dare you? Oh, well, Mr. G1. That's what he says. Mr. to go and do one. There you go. Yeah. Uh, obviously, with uh, evil's victory over Sonata and Kazuchiko Okada outlasting Zack Sabre Jr., these two men find themselves here in semifinal number one. Semifinal number two, Tetsuya Naito versus Will Ospreay. Before you give me that, I wanted to ask your thoughts about the placement of the matches. Do you like the fact that Okada Evil is semifinal, even though Okada is the two-time defending champion? Do you feel that he deserves the main event spot? Well, let's face it. If uh, Sonata had beaten Evil you know, the, the other night in Funabashi, uh, then it would have been Sonata and Okada, and I think that would have been the main event. It's because it's Evil, right? And I think the, the blame for that, if, if Okada is mad, he should, and to an extent already did in his backstage comments, go after Sonata. Because I think that's entirely on Sonata, what happened in Funabashi and mm. Chiba. But we are where we are. And at the same time, Will Ospreay, Tetsuya Naito, two match of the year contenders last year. Yes. Uh, this is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal main event. I can't wait to see it. When you look at what uh, Will Ospreay has done, he and Tetsuya Naito have identical singles records but it feels to me and what i mean is overall over the past 365 days both are 11 and 3. obviously will osprey is spectacular and otherworldly and naito just find ways just finds ways to win really that's all that it takes right i mean what should we be looking for the spectacular or the satisfaction out of just getting victory here today yeah sure yeah i mean i think i brought it up the other night that it feels like Naito is coming up and peaking at just the right time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, all the stars perhaps aligning, there's a, a lot of romance in the air when it comes to G1 final season. And it's crazy to think tomorrow will be six years to the day that Tetsuya Naito last won the G1 Climax. I think Naito is very well aware of that and he's aware of those sort of situations. I think that's motivating him uh, even more, but you are gonna see uh, an incredible main event whatever happens to me. After Okada was beaten by Will Ospreay during the block, he told everybody right away, we'll see each other in the finals. And that could very well be the case here today. We will find out, as will all of you, will be joining us here tonight for the action. Now the card, everything starts at 5 p.m. local time. There will be another uh, meet meeting between oh, the, the meet, four. Yeah, Is this the, the final? The, 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 I think the last of the meet meetings, unless there's another meet meeting. You know, who Young knows? Lion three consecutive battle. It's called. It's not 
Uh, it's not going to be part it's of the broadcast. Challenge. Challenge. We'll, we'll give you the meat update. We'll in start. We'll start with Master Watto and Tenzon versus Hayata. Wow. <laughs> and Kaito Giambi, how about that? Uh, I'm intrigued by that. GHC Junior Heavyweight Champion uh, coming back to New Japan. They were teammates. Master Watto and Hayato were uh, all together. Uh, now they're opponents, and there's uh, you know a lot of intrigue. I'm interested in Kaito Kiyomiya being brought back in this environment. Yeah, there's there's a lot to get into. There <laughs> is. That. There, that is the only uh, card change, surprise, different lineup, you know, personnel than we've seen throughout this entire tournament. It's the fact that Kaito is back tonight, but he's brought Hayato with him. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, Chris and I will be at ringside. Broadcast starts 5 p.m. local right here on NJPWWorld.com. Semifinal Saturday. No better place in the world to be. G1 Climax 33, NJPWWorld.com. We'll see you in a bit.